Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Ui Stewart, um, and it's indeed uh, just an honor of my life uh, to speak to you today uh, in uh, the capacity of being the chairman of Data Science Nigeria on this monument of August occasion um, on the kickoff of this uh, wonderful boot camp. This is fantastic. Uh, let me first start off um, by expressing my profound um, gratitude and, and respect to um, someone I consider a friend and a brother, uh, Bayo Adekombi. You are amazing. Just your relentless pursuit to serve uh, the youth of this nation and unwavering belief that Nigeria will be better. I mean, that's just amazing. Uh, that's just amazing. And uh, this is what brought us together a couple of years ago uh, when um, the, the, the vision and the dream for Data Science Nigeria was very nascent. Look where we are today. And you are unwavering. Now, Bayo, I know that there have been challenges. I know it's not easy. But you you are unwavering. You, you are unshaking. Um, and, and you are an insp inspiration to all of us. And so I'm just saying that in spite of the challenges that come um, in, in the way as you move data science and Nigeria and Africa forward using the best of modern technology in data science, never give up. And this is what I say to you publicly as well as privately, continue to reach for the stars, my brother. We, I just amazing respect and we are all, all with you. Everyone is rooting for you. And, and beside you uh, is Tony, I did call me your wife. She's amazing. She's quiet, but she's relentless. She's the force behind the Adikombi family, if you don't know that. Tony, I want to just also give respect and, and adoration uh, for what uh, is happening through you. Um, it's amazing. Thank you. Thank you for being the rock of the family and along with your children, all the sacrifice. Look where we are today. And to data science uh, community at large, uh, just this is a, an amazing platform. Uh, a vision is becoming a reality. Everyone who's pitching in, in whatever capacity, I commend you, the best is yet to come. To all of the sponsors, thank you. To all of these amazing speakers, you guys are accomplished. I was looking at the list. My goodness, it's truly an honor to be part of this crowd and the, the guest of, uh, list of speakers today. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, inspire these young ones and let that fire and brilliance come out. And to all the partners who have made today possible, thank you all. Much appreciated. So now, about 15, 20 years ago, the concept of the fourth industrial revolution was almost like um, a fantasy, right? Uh, but let me tell you that the fourth industrial revolution is right here and is happening. Now, COVID-19 and all of the things that we're going through uh, with this global pandemic has brought to the forefront the role and relevance of data and data science. Let me give you a few examples. Well, today we hear about uh, the use of predictive models to forecast how many people are going to die in a few months. This is the reality that we live in now. I remember about, you know, at the start of, of, of the year when COVID was just beginning to pick up here in the United States. And the prediction was that by the fall, nearly 200,000 people would have died. People said, no, that's not possible. These models are wrong. Well, hello. Data science has proven it. So what you are about to do today is not a pie in the sky. Data science is a reality. And COVID has now instituted this whole practice of machine learning and made the fourth industrial revolution a global reality. I'll give you some more examples. Today, whether it's at the local level or at the mid-level or at the federal level, government officials and public health officials talk about infection rates, mortality rates, comorbidity, uh, incidence burden, hot spots, which is what we used to call heat map, right? These are all data science concepts. 
And so let me tell you, fourth industrial revolution is right here, right now. And data science has come to stay and COVID has accelerated everything that we used to think and dream about uh, that fourth industrial revolution is only something that happens in the West. Well, it's a global pandemic and the reality of the use of data for decision making is, is urgent and is real as it can be. So what is this fourth industrial revolution? And for this, of course, in life sciences, we call it industry 4.0. In a nutshell, it is that we are able now to take advantage of storage capacity that is now made available through cloud computing. I mean, the advances in cloud computing are amazing, but that's not enough. It's a, it's a triple factor, it's a triple play. So it's cloud, coupled with some of the best things that are happening in machine learning and artificial intelligence. Uh, things like Lit, 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 uh, uh, JCR Litlika uh, in 1950 used to think about something that will happen in the future. But now all that brilliance that we can do with pattern recognition and AI is becoming a reality. Also, we now have unfettered access to data. We have new ways. I mean, data is exponential and it's now in some parlance is declared as the new gold. So when you take this triple factor, this trifecta together of cloud, machine learning slash AI, and this unmitigated unfettered access to data, these are the underpinnings of the fourth industrial revolution.